Hey y'all, Jade and Nate here. We're here talking to you today about calcium and the role it plays in nitrogen uptake by the plant. That's right. So calcium regulates the opening and closing of the stomata. Essentially, that's the process the plant uses called transpiration to take nitrogen in. Not only does it regulate that, it also plays a vital role in nitrogen transportation through the soil. And so what happens is if you don't have enough calcium in the ground, not only does it cause a problem for plant growth, but that nitrogen can become bound up in the ground, locked up and unavailable for the plant, meaning you're losing a lot of that valuable nitrogen that you're putting on the field. To make sure that you're getting the most out of your nitrogen fertilizer applications, you have to make sure that your calcium is where it needs to be in the soil. How do you know if your calcium levels are low? Well, you want to look at your pH, and if your pH is low, it's a telltale sign that you need some calcium in your life. For us as farmers, most of the time, the number one fertilizer that we're putting down is nitrogen. And the last thing you want to do is waste money on your nitrogen. So it's super important to make sure that you have the right amount of calcium in the ground, not only to sustain growth, but to make sure that you're getting every penny's worth out of that fertilizer before it ever hits you. Get your money's worth. All right guys, with all that being said, make sure you get your soil test done, make sure you have enough calcium, and make sure you're getting your money's worth out of all the things and the hard work you're doing, right? Yep.